Wow. Engine on, engine main on, fuel pumps on. Check the fuel pressures come up. Fuel burn on takeoff is around 35 gallons an hour. And at 17,000 feet, you know, normal cruise, you're burning about 17 gallons an hour. Hey guys, B Snappy here. I'm here with Mark, and he's got this amazing jet powered aircraft behind us. Tell us about what make and model this is. Yeah, so this is what we call the Subsonics. Um, and the model number designation is JSX2. Uh, we've sold uh, so far 60 yep. uh, kits. We sell them as a quick build kit. Uh, it's incredibly niche aircraft. So you you know, it's 60 is a lot for um, being such a specialized airplane that you know not your average pilot is going to want to or even be able to fly. But you know that being said. It's, uh, it's an incredibly easy airplane to fly. It has a reasonable stall speed, reasonable handling qualities, and is an easy airplane to transition to. Talking about speed, what is the cruise speed on one of those? So this thing, depending on how much fuel you want to burn and how far you, want, you have to go, uh, this will cruise uh, up to 240 miles an hour. In top speed, uh, you know, level flight, uh, we've seen true air speeds as much as 260 wow. at low altitude. Yeah. Um, and up high, I mean, we can go right up uh, almost to 300 miles an hour, which is the V&E of the airplane. What's the aerobatic capabilities? Like, what are the G-forces you can handle? Kind of? Yeah, so it's uh, our, uh, what we consider aerobatic category as far as register, as far as engineering and design is positive 6 Gs and minus 3 G. That's a beautiful little jet engine on the back you have there. What sort of jet engine is that? So that's the uh, PBS TJ100. It's 160 pounds of thrust. I think it's 158 technically in this particular version. Uh, this is sort of a D-rated version of, uh, of the engines that they make for UAVs and other applications. So it's, it's good to give it a longer TBO. Yeah. Um, it's got a relatively short overhaul period. It's a 300 hour TBO. Are we able to have a look in here? Absolutely. Let me open this up for you. Wow, no, it's pretty your, stylish. Your own, you could be a, a fighter pilot for a day if you yeah. have one of these. And uh, you know, it's got, you know, that smell of leather and jet fuel all at once as you open the canopy, it's pretty glorious. So what do we have up here? This is the fuel tank. So it's a rotationally molded cross-link polyethylene fuel cell. So it actually is seamless. So it's incredibly um, crash worthy, very rupture proof. So yep. a safe fuel system to have in the cockpit. Of course, we have it in the cockpit because we need so much fuel. We don't have room in the wings and we have removable wings. We don't want you to have to defuel yeah. the wings when you want to trailer it some way. So the fuel tank actually makes up the seat back for, for the, for the uh, pilot. So you're actually leaning against the fuel tank. Yeah. Of course, in the uh, you know, the Piper Cub days and, and other vintage airplanes, you know, they had header tanks that were metal and they were, you know, welded or brazed together, which yeah. was a whole lot less safe than having a rotationally molded fuel cell. So what fuels are actually using? We could, we burn Jet A typically. Uh, yep. The PBS actually can burn a number of fuels, including weird Russian fuels that are mixed up in a bathtub and uh, strained with stockings. So uh, there's a lot of different fuels, but we burn Jet A. It's a side stick controller. We have push to talk switch here. And of course we have the smoke, uh, smoke on switch. When we're doing air shows, we can pop smoke. Um, the engine is completely controlled by the throttle lever. So we have this engine monitoring instrument here that tells us what's going on with RPM and EGT, a couple of warning lights. But you actually start the engine uh, from the throttle controller. Oh, yeah. There's no complicated start sequence. You just turn your fuel pumps on, wait for pressure to come up, and then you can put the throttle past the detent and everything happens automatically. Same with shutdown and cool down. You pull the throttle past the detent and uh, it shuts itself down and runs a cool down cycle, all computer control. And is it fully IFR certified? Uh, this one isn't. We have a couple of customers who have done IFR instrumentation and even yep. auto, uh, autopilots and coupled approaches and everything. It's, you know, more more for doing it for fun. We don't have anti-ice and yeah. things like that. It looks like an amazing aircraft. If people can't make it to Oshkosh to see it, where do they find you? Come to sonicsaircraft.com. Thanks so much for the interview. Yeah, Mark. thank you for the opportunity to speak to you.